Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking all things hair and not just my tips. We're going to the source, okay? The people who actually know what they're talking about. Professional hairstylists. There is a new hair hack that a hairdresser posted on TikTok. It's gone viral. I have tried it now twice and it is amazing, okay? It is not just a gimmick, it is called hair slugging. So what you do here is to the bottom half of your hair, apply your favorite deep conditioner mask or a regular conditioner, and then on top of that, get a light hair oil and apply some of that on top. Then you wanna pull your hair through a long fuzzy sock. Yeah, I said sock. Secure it on with a scrunchie. You look a little crazy, but what this is doing is it is protecting your hair. It's also helping to lock in that moisture and those benefits from the product. And it's also not gonna get all over your pillow when you're sleeping. An added bonus, ladies, your partner, ooh, they're gonna love it. Honey, are you awake? The other option that I learned from one of you sent me a message and told me that I needed to start sleeping in a silk bonnet. So when I'm not hair slugging, I have my silk bonnet and this is protecting my hair. It's protecting my style and preventing breakage while you're tossing and turning on your pillow. Honey, are you awake? Oh dear God, um, I have a headache and stomach ache. Yeah. Yes guys, I'm full of sexy tips today. Pre-shampoo thing that I do that has really made a huge difference in my hair is I use a mineral remover before getting in the shower. You apply this to dry hair and what it does is it helps remove those hard water deposits and mineral buildup that accumulates on your hair over time from your water, from your tap water. The other option here is to get a shower filter. It will also help filter out some of those mineral deposits that make your hair weighed down, reduces shine. Hi, this is Brittany from the future. Just wanted to pop in and let you know that this is happening later in the video. So watch to the end if you want to see what this is and how it turns out because I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. Also, I have a giveaway going on right now of my favorite things of the moment, my favorite organic bamboo sheets, a brand new Kindle paper white, and to be entered, all you have to do is be following me here and either save or share this video. Anyway, back to the video. If you've ever read the instructions on your shampoo, it says lather, rinse, repeat. And I always kind of ignored that repeat. I'm like, that's a waste of my time. That's a waste of product. But there's actually a reason why you should repeat. First time you're shampooing, think of it more as removing the dirt, oil, debris that is in your hair. The second time you shampoo is actually giving your hair the benefits of your product. By doing a second shampoo, it really does help your hair get cleaner and feel so much healthier. You wanna be focusing your shampoo on your scalp. And a way you can do that even better is with a scalp massager. And the way to use it properly, I apply the shampoo to my scalp and then I take this. You don't wanna to press too hard, just gently. I go back and forth, up and down, all throughout my scalp. I don't go in circular motions. That can lead to tangles. You don't wanna press down so hard that it hurts. It helps your shampoo penetrate better. Better. It can help stimulate hair growth and circulation on your scalp. There are so many different benefits. If you're just rinsing the top of your head, some of that product is going to accumulate on the bottom and back of your hair and lead to buildup. Split your hair in two and first rinse that bottom part of your hair, then release the top part and finish rinsing off your shampoo. For conditioning, the biggest thing that you need to be doing that I wasn't doing and oh my goodness, so simple and it makes such a difference. So instead of applying your conditioner to your wet hair, what you wanna do is wring out your hair gently. The conditioner will adhere better and penetrate better on your hair that's not soaking wet. In terms of product, this is important. Don't skimp on the high quality shampoo and conditioner and hair care products. You want products with good ingredients that are good for your hair and don't have just cheap fillers to them. So I have used Function of Beauty hair care products exclusively for now going on two and a half years. That is how much I love them. I'm working with Function of Beauty for today's video and I have an awesome discount code for you guys. This is fully customized 
hair care. Gone are the days of one size fits all. You just go on their website, you take a quiz, you can select all the different goals you have for your hair, and they have a whole team of scientists, cosmetic chemists, they even have toxologists on their staff that create the best formulations with the best ingredients. Like these are clean hair care products without sulfates, without parabens, without any of those nasty ingredients. They're actually EU certified. They have much higher standards for ingredients there. They're cruelty-free, vegan. I also buy their body wash, body lotion, hair serum. Like I use all of their stuff because I love it that much. Just the combination between the ingredients, how well it works for my hair. They're also really pretty. Like I love having them there. And every time I reorder, I change up the formula a little bit. So I feel like my hair is continuing to evolve and benefit from the products. I don't feel like my hair has ever gotten used to it. So if you wanna upgrade your hair care and try out Function of Beauty, you can save 20% off your first order of shampoo and conditioner. And I'm going to have all the information, my code link in the description box. So check there. Pro tip that my hairdresser told me years ago, and you must, must try this. At the end of your shower, turn that water all the way to cold, as cold as it gets, and then do a final rinse of your hair with that ice cold water that seals off the cuticle and makes your hair shine and so soft like no other. Also, you get a little, little boost, wake you right up. I also should say, while we're talking about hair and hair secrets, I have this one extension piece that I wear just for added volume. But now my hair has gotten so long. Like most of this is my real hair. My hair goes all the way down to here. It just is fine. So I put this one hair extension here for volume. Adding heat to your hair is never a good thing. You want to use as little heat and heat styling products as possible. So there's so many different methods for heatless curls. I saw this one popping off over on TikTok. You know when I saw these, I had to try them. So let's try these babies out. I heard to put a good amount of mousse, dampen your hair with some mousse, get her nice and moussed up, not too wet. Then you take your curling tube and your curling tube wand, stick her right in there like you're stuffing a sausage casing, if you will. We're all ready. Then you take a piece of hair, hook it on with a little hook. Then we pull her on through. Woo! So the first time I ordered these, I ordered the wrong size. I ordered for short hair, so I had to go back. They came the next day. Thank you, Amazon Prime. I can't decide if this is a highlight or low light of my life. This is actually inspiring me to do a whole video on testing all the different heatless curling methods. That could be fun. I'm going to finish the rest of my head, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are with all of our curling tubes in. That took about 20 minutes. This was my first time, so there's a bit of a learning curve, but once I got it, it went fairly quickly. Now, I don't see how anyone could sleep with this on their head. It's just not happening. So I'm just gonna leave them on for as many hours as possible. All right, guys, are we ready for the moment? of truth. I have had this on now for hours. I'm a little scared. I feel like I'm gonna look like Curly Sue. Okay, moment of truth. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Are we seeing this curl? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, okay. I mean, we have curls. I don't know what happened with this piece. Oh, this is the piece I didn't put mousse in. So the mousse makes a difference. Okay, so here is the final result. I put in my extension piece, which is already curled. And overall, I think the curls look nice and voluminous, not too frizzy, but, and there's a big butt. There's some funky stuff happening over here, over here. I also think if I used a curling iron and just did a few touch-ups, it would look a lot better, but that's cheating. So for now, I can't say that I love it, but I think I can do better next time. Honey, you awake? What? No, okay. This is too much. I'm sorry, you've gone too far. You've gone too far. I think they're kind of cute. 
No. You look like a human pinata. You do not want to brush your hair when it's wet. When your hair is wet, it is in its weakest form, and by brushing it, especially if you're being rough with it, that's gonna cause breakage. You also do not want to use a regular rough terry cloth towel and rub your hair, because again, that's causing damage. That's very rough on your hair. So I use this very plush, and fluffy hair towel. I don't rub it dry, I just gently pat. And let's talk quickly about brushing our hair and how to do that properly according to the pros. First, you wanna start from the bottom and work your way up. So it's gonna release those tangles and lead to less breakage. And I also saw a pro hairstylist say that it's less damaging on your hair if you hold your hairbrush vertically instead of horizontally. I have used the wet brush for like 10 years now. I just find that it doesn't pull and tug on my hair as much. And then my hairdresser recommended that I pick up and start using a boar head brush as well. What this does is the boar hair bristles help redistribute the oils from your hair. So if you tend to have oily hair, or if it's a few days after washing, your hair starting to look oily, you take the boar head brush and you smooth your hair out. It helps smooth frizz, give you that shine, and just redistribute those oils. Also, super important, you may not have this on your radar, and I had it until a few months ago, and that is the importance of washing your hairbrush. Think about everything that's on your brush over time, the buildup, the dirt, the oil, and then you're brushing that back into your hair. You want to get a long tooth comb and go through each of the columns. And this is where most people stop. They think they're done and their brush is clean, but no. I like to use a mixture of dish soap because it's a really good oil remover and degreaser. I use baking soda and a little bit of distilled white vinegar. Take an old toothbrush and gently scrub through the bristles, rinse it out, and then make sure that you fully dry it. I do still struggle with a lot of flyaways. I also had major baby hairs and flyaways postpartum. So if that is something that you deal with, I have found the best, easiest way to deal with that is by using a pomade and you just put a tiny bit on the tip of your finger and just gently push those flyaways down. The pomade is where it's at. It will not move. It works really well. Don't put too much, okay? You don't want like a helmet head. So those are my favorite tips and secrets that I've learned recently, all from professional hairstylist, and I highly recommend you upgrade your shampoo and conditioner. It is well worth it, and I have a code for you to save 20% off your first Function of Beauty order. I'm going to have that information down in the description box. Also information on how to enter my favorite things giveaway. So with all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching, and I will see you soon with a new video.